Thank you all for the invitation, uh, Giovanni. It's a great pleasure to be with you. Um, in response to this um, first question, let me refer briefly to the interaction between enforcement and advocacy, and also to the concept of inclusive growth, which I think it's uh, uh, something that we need to add in the equation. Uh, as already explained by the participants in the previous panel, the channels through which competition can affect productivity and growth are often multiple and complex, but there is no doubt that strong and efficient competition is an optimizer for our economies. As John mentioned, competition has pervasive and long-lasting effects on economic performance because it affects the very incentive structure of economic actors. It gives firms continuing incentives to make their production and distribution more efficient, it encourages, them, it encourages them to innovate as to differentiate themselves from the other competitors, and over time it selects and rewards those firms that are most efficient while driving inefficient firms out of the market. It is precisely this behavior of companies seeking to expand their market share and earn high, higher profits through increased efficiency and innovation that ultimately creates and stimulates economic growth. Competition leads to efficient use of resources and in that sense is a prerequisite for growth. In other words, competition plays a crucial role in promoting productivity and innovation as drivers of economic growth. In times of crisis, it is imperative that we as competition authorities, in my view, explore more the complementarity of enforcement and advocacy to the fullest. We must maintain and defend our enforcement record, but in parallel we also need to establish a new role as agents for reform. Why is that? Because effective competition, which is a catalyst for economic growth, can be harmed both by the anti-competitive contact of firms, but also by inappropriate government policies and legislation. Both these factors influence the level of competition, and therefore a holistic approach is warranted to optimize our intervention. In this context, it is also important, in my view, to appreciate that competition is not simply a driver for economic growth in the abstract, but quite critically, it contributes substantially to inclusive growth and ultimately to sustainable growth. It is widely recognized nowadays that we need to promote solutions that foster economic growth in a more inclusive manner. The challenge is to advance equitable opportunities for economic actors during the process of economic growth so that the benefits accrue in every section of our society. And competition, in my view, and I think it's uh, every, everyone, uh, that's how we conceive our role, is integral to that concept of inclusive growth. This is because it promotes a quality of opportunity in terms of access to markets, resources, and unbiased regulatory environment for businesses and individuals. Indeed, a strong competition policy can be a very effective tool to promote social inclusion and reduce inequalities because it tends to reduce rent-seeking rent -seeking behavior and to open more affordable options for consumers, thereby acting as a stabilizer for prices. Because it com combats cartels involved in certain markets and sectors where the poor are harmed the most. And because it breaks down market barriers that often help to protect incumbent elites. After all, it is the poorest families that are usually the most affected from increased prices and lesser consumer choices. The opening up of product and services market can have a very positive impact on the finances of the most vulnerable, thereby promoting more inclusive growth. As competition authorities, it is crucial to diversify our narrative to this direction. We need to identify and promote, through targeted advocacy, the positive effects of competition on inclusive growth, because this speaks right to the heart of the society, particularly in times and in times of uh, in difficult times of crisis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dimitri. Uh